this year for 2022, the International Women's Day on Tuesday, March the 8th, the theme is Break the Bias. A simple theme, but it's profound. It really resonates with myself and many others. Let's remember that people who identify as women carry many intersectional identities. Approach those identities and their stories with curiosity and humility. You know, you can't separate out the idea of being a woman in medicine or a racialized woman in medicine from just being a racialized woman in the world. As you go up in leadership in medicine, leadership gets uh, whiter and maler. I think that's a reality that we all live in. Um, and that's part of the, the part, part of the challenge. I think that uh, many of us have had that experience where we've had to work harder, do more to prove our level of competency. And sometimes that has eroded or impacted our, our sense of confidence, you know, um, looking at just how much we have to keep doing to be accepted as, as equals. And I think the other thing that women add uh, into their day-to-day -day medical care is an extra level of sensitivity, of compassion, which again, and certainly when I first started in medicine, uh, you know, there was no room in medicine for emotions. And that was the kind of stuff you just had to tough through and deal with on your own when you got home, right? So I think that sort of professional acceptance has been, uh, has been a challenge. I think one of the main things that I've seen is the challenge that women often experience in carving out time and space for themselves to take care of their own needs. And so that can happen in a very kind of small way in the micro and the day to day for all of us. But when you're dealing with medical issues and when those medical issues overlap with mental health issues, right, when they come out in the in the psychiatric space and in the mental health space and when they're they're not obvious and they're almost, you know, like a hidden illness or a hidden challenge. That makes it, I think, even harder to really protect that time to make sure that you get the care that you need, that you're coming regularly to appointments when there's so many other things pulling on you and, and, and demanding, um, you know, your time and your energy and your effort. incredibly important um, that CPSO is leading the way um, in incorporating equity, diversity, and inclusion in quality improvement. Um, in my view, equity, diversity, and inclusion aren't separate um, from quality improvement, just like they're not separate um, from providing excellent health care. We are committed to addressing inequity and inequality within the health system and to working with our partners to ensure quality care for all. We as individuals and as organizations can break the bias.